get into the, the I was so confused. Um, <laughs> it's a long time ago, I'm not kind of ashamed to admit that. But just understand that it's hard, but it's necessary, and it was glad that she did, that she you know, decided to go on this journey and learn new things. So transitioning to our pillows list, my very first thing I want to say is that you will find your friends and you will find your place very soon. Please be patient. You're going to get to campus and you're going to be surrounded by people who are cooking up very, it seems like very easily, and it's going to seem like, well, where's my tribe? Where are my people? Where am I going? And honestly, don't worry about it. You'll find it, and if, or rather, it's gonna find you. I mean, you're gonna, it's gonna find you in the most unexpected places. So just be patient with yourselves. Network and take full advantage of every opportunity provided to you, and even kill your own opportunities. So, like right now, you all are here at Urban League, and you apply for multiple scholarships. That's amazing. That's an opportunity that you are taking full advantage of. So continue to do that while you're in college, because that's really what college is all about. Networking and making sure that you keep in contact with those connections as well. Make sure that you really set your goals and intentions for the school year and never waver from them. I think I'm also Do not stress what you cannot control and what is meant for you will not pass you. I'm a firm believer in that. There is such thing as imposter syndrome where you can feel like you are not meant to be in a place that God has for you. And that is a lot better than you're telling yourself. Because if you weren't meant to be there, he wouldn't have you there. So just stick with it. Don't stress about it. Just easy to say to know. So understand that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. And if you end up finding a place somewhere else, that's okay too. Explore that. Be open to that. Now I don't know if y'all want to write this down. Y'all want to take a mental note of this. Please download Root Me and Handshake. Those two apps are very, very beneficial. Ruby really will teach you through your college experience. And Handshake is an app where you can find jobs and internships. So you can just upload your resume, and your resume will, the job will come to you, basically. Whatever is on your resume, the jobs and the internships that match up with your resume will come to you and you'll be notified every time that someone wants to speak with you or wants to interview with you. And those are very beneficial. That is how I got my job within the third week that I was at college. And everybody was like, what did you do? How did you get a job? And I was like, oh, I use handshake. You know, you know, that's a little bit of resume. So it, it, it's very resourceful and you'll be thankful that you did. And lastly, please have as much fun as possible because it is college after all. Y'all are not meant to be cramped up in the dorm every day studying for 18 hours. If you allow it to your parents and say that that's what you're doing, that is okay. But <laughs> still go out and still have fun, still enjoy yourself, make the most of your time at college because those years are really, really going to fly. I, I remember really being in the seats that y'all are sitting in and y'all up here talking to you as a rising sophomore. So please make the most of it. Please have fun. Please enjoy yourself. Again, uh, congratulations, scholars, congratulations, parents. I know that you will all go on to do amazing and wonderful things. And know that this community right here is right behind you to cheer you on. We are so proud of you, and congratulations again. Thank you. Yeah. 
just for another round of applause. You have been in my office practicing and practicing and practicing. And thank you, uh, uh, Deb Black, for working with Jeshua. You know, it's not easy to get up in front of a group of people and, and talk. And so when we asked Jeshua to um, be the master of him, he said, really? <laughs> and we said, yes, you can do it. He said, really? But I'm thankful that we can encourage our young people to come here and stand on this platform and do what they do, because we're going to pass the torch to them. So thank you, Denyla. Beautiful presentation. Yeah. Yeah, okay. they're not going right, just remember all of us in this room who are supporting and encouraging you. And if at any time you feel pressured, you feel unsure, it's like E.T., phone home. <laughs> call home and we will continue to encourage you or call the Urban League office. If you run into some financial issues and they say that you can't pay this or whatever, call us and we will try to figure out how to help you, but stay encouraged and be encouraged. Okay, now, money, 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 money. Y'all remember that song? Oh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> right. Here we go. So Dr. Beverly Lewis is here with me. She serves at the Urban League and oversees our scholarship component, and that's a huge component. Our scholarships have grown and grown so far, several of the donors here are from our corporate level, business leaders. However, there's also many families here who are offering scholarships in memory of their loved ones. You will note them in your program book with the heart. Uh, some of the hearts faded out, some of the hearts weren't there. We will make sure to place those hearts on the program before we send it out into the community because we want people to know that those donations were the memory of your loved ones. Before I go any further, you know, I can't do this alone. I have a wonderful staff of people and volunteers, and I would just like them to stand, all of the staff and the volunteers. Would you please stand and be recognized? Please stand. Mr. Blouse and Mr. Yes, because the checks are in the envelope, so 
Make sure you hold on to the envelope or give it to your parent so that you won't lose it. But if the check is in your name, so you will be able to take that check and do what you need to do to get to school. So the first scholarship presentation will be the Horizon Bank Mid-Year. I would like Noe to come up to the stage. Let's give Noe from Horizon Bank a hand. They brought um, a check for $10,000, so that means $1,000 for each student will be given on today. Isn't that amazing? So, scholars, Trinity, come on up. Trinity Allen, come on up the stairs this way. Come up on this side, Trinity. Vanessa Del Rio. I love that name, Vanessa. And then Jose Torres, Brianne Simmons, William Murray. Come on up.
Are they smiling? Y'all got money. <laughs>
day it is, especially when we're honoring these spirits. Can you hear me? Yes. I talk softly, but I do carry a big stick. So. <laughs> but I am Mrs. Oxenhead Thomas, and I'm representing National Hookup of Black Women. What a wonderful organization it is. And it was organized nationally in, uh, I'm sorry, in 1974. And our local national hookup was organized in 2006. And basically we do the same thing pretty much as Urban League, the arts, culture, education, and human resources. So we're happy and especially our scholarships. I get really excited when we're able to present scholarships Nobody knows that for me. I just, it's just amazing that I'm in a situation that I can help these students get their scholarships and use other people's money. <laughs> okay. But all that being said, I also have a representative with me as well. I am the liaison for National Hookup and Urban League. And Ms. Tyler Nelson. Okay, she's our scholarship chair, and I'm co-chair. So we work well together, and uh, this is just the beginning. This is just one phase of our scholarship. We also have another set that we're going to deal with as well. So without any further ado, Bria. Come on over here. Get your picture taken. Okay. <laughs> Right now, I would also like to continue our scholarship. The next scholarship is going to be on behalf of Senator Eddie Nelson, Future Leaders. With Brandy Bonds come up and Thomas Hagen. So clearly you've shown that leadership skills 
through your application process, and I want to congratulate you with that. So, again, yeah, let's give it all a round of applause. Gary Game Changers. We have two 
recipients, Teresa Barzinski and Lizzie Mendoza, here again, Chinese is the organization of the city of Beer that's helping to get rid of life one house at a time. And so Adrian Wells Lucas is the administrator for the Year Game Changers. Because she also 
Awards and Anthony Horton yeah. Northwest Indiana Corvette Club Scholarship. So, the members of Mr. McAllister, come on up. Trinity is right on. She's getting another envelope. Do we have security to walk Trinity? <laughs>
their extended family to come up. The sub. Yes, 
eating the hot wings and stop eating the, the spicy pizza and the flaming hot Cheetos and flaming hot potato chips. It is killing, it's toxic to your system. And when she went off to college, there was nothing that I could monitor. And that's what she was eating every single day. So I just want to implore you, don't do it. And I am so honored to be able to offer this scholarship to you as a pre-med student. You're going to be a doctor. And I love you because of your essay. I only require that they write an essay about the importance of being compassionate. Because my daughter had 30 hospitalizations over a 10-year period. She was a 2007 graduate of Miracle High School, and you were her guidance counselor. I remember that. Um, but she persevered and went on to Hampton. And unfortunately, she did not get to be a nurse. She passed the year after she graduated. But I know you're going to make it proud. Thank you. Dr.
Well, I took a break, a little break in my boutique business called Miss Elise, especially for you. Just thinking about how I can make a positive difference in the community. And at the time, my heart was heavy because I had just watched the newscast about some things that were troubling in our neighborhoods with the youth and also um, troubling in the education system. And so God put it on my heart to use my business and the gifting and uh, the talents of others that I need to raise funds uh, by doing fashion shows and empowerment seminars in the beauty and fashion industry um, to raise funds to start this um, initiative. And so we um, are honored to be here again. I want to thank Dr. Vanessa and Dr. Beverly and the entire team at um, the Urban League for their support with helping us to continue this vision on. And congratulations to all of the awardees and especially to Cedrica and Arlie for being awarded the Different Different Scholarships. Congratulations, everyone. I also want to mention that two of our sponsors are here, um, Dr. Ann Herbert and Dr. Uh, Ann Holland. Thank you. We have a few more scholarships to give and then we'll be out. Isn't this wonderful giving out other people's money? Absolutely. It is wonderful. I'll never forget that. What is it? O P M. P M. for Sears, first in Gary, then at South Lake Mall. 
Some of you might not know that there was a Sears in Gary. Some of you might not even know there was a Sears. <laughs> Times have changed. Together they raised five kids, four of which were valedictorian. I'm not going to tell you which one wasn't valedictorian. <laughs> However, all was not lost as I graduated in the top 10% of my class. Westside High School. Oh. Westside. Okay, so now to the recipients at hand. Each of you is a future leader. You have to be to accomplish what you've accomplished under the conditions and circumstances of these extraordinary times. In spite of it all, not only have you persevered, but you have excelled. We salute you because you are the leaders that will save us all. Yes. Guthrie Scholarship recipients, stand up and be counted. All right. Congratulations. <laughs>
you all for staying with us to the end. We do want to express to you that we have two returning adult scholarships that are open until July 31st, 2023. If you meet the criteria, they are open on our web, on our community for scholarship platform, not on the website. Sometimes people get that confused and go to the website and say it's not there, it's not there. It's on the community force platform. We have two returning adult scholarships, which means that you are at least 21 years old, have dropped out of college, or was thinking about college, and life happened, and you can apply for those scholarships. The other thing I want to mention is that, and I mentioned this last year, we are looking for two students who will attend Indiana University Bloomington or Indiana University Northwest. You can only attend one of those two schools. You must major in banking, finance, or law. If you are planning to major in those fields, please, 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 please apply for the Joseph Trent Morrill Scholarship. It will be paid directly to Indiana University in the amount of $2,500. That's our largest scholarship offering that we have this time. We have such great difficulty finding graduating seniors from Gary Community School Corporation, School City of East Chicago, or School City of Hammond. So it's very restricted. School City of East Chicago, School City of Hammond, Gary Community School Corporation. You must graduate from there, and you must attend Indiana University Bloomington or Indiana University Northwest. And you must major in banking, law, or finance. <laughs> so anybody that's got a scholarship, please don't make it that strange because it's very difficult to get a candidate for that. Um, we appreciate you coming. Looks like I have another announcement, but I can't think of it. Please recognize Taylor Phillips, who just graduated from Ball State. She is the daughter of our photographer, Waylon Proudday. Stand up and take a bow. In fact, Waylon, why don't you come up here and get your picture taken with your daughter? And then I also want to acknowledge Chelsea Whittington is our PR, C. Witt. PR, if you need some public relations, media, whatever. And Amber McKinstry is also her assistant, but she's also the vice president of the Urban League Young Professionals. You have to be between 21 and 40. Boy, I just missed it. You have to be between 20 to be a part of the Young Professionals. And we also have Johnny Rucker and, tell me your name again. Alex. Alex. They are also Young Professionals. So let's thank them for coming. <laughs> Next year, they're going to be in charge. So get ready. Get ready. This. What's your announcement? My announcement is we're always looking for other people's money. So if you want to establish a scholarship in your own name, we don't care. Uh, or you want to establish a scholarship in the name of someone you love, living or deceased, we are always open to OPM. Just call me at the Urban League, not on Monday. Don't call me on Monday, but call me at the Urban League and we will get you established so that you can be up here next year and give away your money to somebody's Urban League. Thank you.